Welcome back to the Map for College learning community. My name is Ernest Manelli, founder of Map for College. This video will describe the importance of emphasizing pre-writing strategies on your success journey toward creating a very powerful common application main essay. For many students applying to colleges, the common application will represent the portal of choice or the portal of first choice in terms of connecting with a wide variety of schools to streamline the application process. The vast majority of colleges and universities in the United States are on the Common Application Portal. Now, some colleges are not. There are many colleges that are on different portals. They might have their own application. The University of California has its own application system with its own timeline. So we could help you with any of those timelines and any of those logistics. But in general, the vast majority of schools are on the common application, commonly known as the common app. And with the common apps main essay, the main essay is meant to streamline the process so that each student would theoretically only write one major essay that could be shared and utilized for a variety of applications to a variety of schools. The common application provides seven prompts per year. One of the prompts essentially allows you the freedom to choose your own prompt. That's usually prompt number seven. But in general, the six content area prompts seek to develop some form of understanding or definition or structure about a student's experiences, their aspirations, their goals. And some students will look at the common applications writing prompts and immediately gravitate toward a particular prompt or maybe even one or two prompts. And so we help to guide students by emphasizing the pre-writing process. There is no shortcut to success when it comes to the common applications main essay. And as Mark Twain once said, no piece of writing is ever truly complete. You know, you could always edit a piece of writing. But in general, your common application main essay will come through much more authentically if you invest the time and the energy toward the pre-writing process. What do I mean by that? When we work with students, we help them to develop a mindset of focusing on the brainstorm, the map of ideas, the cluster of ideas. I know it has very many different monikers and names, but in general, you want to have an initial brainstorm. You want to have a no filter time when you determine which prompt is the right one for you, the one that resonates with you, and then you just generate with your main idea or the main prompts possibly in the middle of let's say an 11 by 17 large piece of paper or sketch pad or however you want to do it. You can just brainstorm ideas related to that prompt, related to that topic, related to whatever point of reference you want to emphasize. And the reason why the brainstorm is so powerful is it gets ideas out there that might not come out if you're processing through the filter of editing. Editing will come later. So we really strongly emphasize for those students who are visual learners, who have spatial intelligence, I'm tapping into Howard Gardner, Professor Howard Gardner from the Harvard Graduate School of Education, his you know, famous research on multiple intelligences and his emphasis that students learn in a variety of different ways. So if you are a visual learner, and most students to some degree are visual learners, you can create not just words and sketches and phrases, but you can actually create visuals along with your brainstorm to associate with ideas that resonate with you. So we really encourage students to take the pre-writing process seriously. We also work with students both to do an individual brainstorm and also, if they're open to it, to doing an interactive brainstorm. Sometimes we even have a small group of a few students and I will facilitate in which we will take turns being a sounding board where the student initially he or she will do the initial brainstorm and then ask around the room once the student starts to slow down and not generate as many ideas because you I mean if you can 
keep a brainstorm going for two to three minutes, that's great. Like if you can just write ideas and just put them out there. But then eventually we all slow down. It's like you start to run low on the idea tank. And then at that point, when we have a small group format, if students are open to it, we sort of go interactive and sort of share best practices and help that student with his or her idea. And then we go around the table and sort of help other students with their idea. We do that both through in-person workshops locally on the South Shore and also through video conferencing through GoToMeeting uh, portals. And we only do the small group brainstorm exercise, the interactive exercise for students that are open to that process. And whether it's individually or in a small group to facilitate ideas and best practices, once you have a brainstorm in place, I believe it's a good idea to take a day between your brainstorm and your outline stage. Now, some people can go right from a brainstorm, take like a 10, 15 minute break, and then sketch an outline. I think it's better to have, personally, from an educational standpoint, I think it's better to have a little bit of time and space. Maybe a break of a few hours, maybe a different time of day, um, maybe the next day, but just having some sort of mental space so that you can come back to the brainstorm objectively with some degree of objectivity and really start to prioritize your outline. And then once you sketch an outline, again, I like to have that, that buffer time, that time to reflect. So maybe day one, create the brainstorm. Day two, structure an outline. And then day three, just start moving toward progress on your first draft. And the first draft is just meant to generate ideas. My perspective is the first draft, you generate ideas. The second draft, you're trying to improve the quality of the examples and the specifics that you're giving. Maybe the third draft, the third revision or the second revision, you know, because the first draft is really a generation of ideas um, in a structured order. So the, the, the first revision, the second draft, if you will, would be emphasizing and fortifying the quality of ideas that second revision, that third draft, would really focus on trying to ensure the flow and the quality of writing. And then maybe the third revision, which would be de facto the fourth draft, at that point you can start to nitpick and sort of go through, you know, grammar, word choice, structure, how many dependent clauses you have in a paragraph, really emphasizing the flow and getting down to the nitty gritty of the quality of writing. But in general, I think once you have a brainstorm and then a structured outline, and then you generate a first draft, at that point, students feel so much more liberated. And we help students through Map for College with every stage of that process. And the thing is, whether you're starting your common application work early this summer, whether you're going to do it over the course of the summer, at some point, this is a bridge that you're going to have to cross. And we can help you with that journey. We have tremendous experience. And when I say we, I'm the only employee for Map for College. So I handle all the curriculum. I design all the workshops. And I handle all the student support. So you would be dealing directly with me if we were working together. And I take pride in helping young people to bring out the best ideas that they can to show and highlight their ability to contribute ideas, effort, initiative, motivational concepts at the next level, at the college level, and prospectively gearing up for their career choices. So we would be happy to help you, happy to talk about your journey to help you make it the most successful that it can be. Our email is guidance at mapforcollege.com, website www.mapforcollege.com. Phone number, which is a landline, is 781-925-0121. Feel free to contact us, and we'd be happy to help you. So once again, most important thing about the Common Applications main essay, take the time to invest in the pre-writing, and you will reap and enjoy the benefits as you structure a really fantastic essay. Thank you so much.